Uh, so we're looking at quartering this log with the intercept. It takes a little bit of working out to start with because you want the end of the bar, you'll see when it's cutting, to, to end in more or less the centre here. I think we're coming slightly underneath this on the first cut. Um, and we should also, which I haven't got with me, we really want to strap the strap that goes across the log in the middle there, but we haven't got that, sadly. Uh, we're going to be going into the log with a 660 and a 30 inch low pro bar. So I'm not sure what the tip wave is going to do. I'm not sure what the vibration is going to do. I'm not sure of nothing, but that's more or less what the plan is, is to call to this. And uh, it's a four and a half foot log, slightly, almost five foot there. So we're seeing if we can do a big log like this with a small saw. So what we've done here is we put uh, the square there uh, on this yellow line. We've offered the saw up, which is fairly awkward, so that it comes down and meets our cut here. So that does involve a bit of manoeuvring. Also bear in mind, the saw is gonna be bouncing here. So a bit of a lump of wood um, to stop that happening works well, or worked well just now. Yes. Actually, yeah, let's have that. Nice little lumpy bit there, Paul. Lumpy bit, very so, so that bit of log does that there. And as you as you mill up to that, you'll notice we'll lift that up, put it behind, and you and maneuver it around that way. <laughs> so done that, completed that cut. And now you can see where that's come out. Oh, it's pretty much, yeah, has intersected it. Just come back a bit there. So you can see the quarter that we've just cut here. Distant path. Yeah, at least we didn't hit it though, that would have been a lot. There's a bit of poke in there, but the actual. I'm really pleased with the principle of that. Yeah, you could have, you could have that, it's almost like a. Aiden McAvoy fine furniture there, there's your chair, mate. Where'd you want it? Yeah, so for the next cut, the rails will just go flat against this surface, so you don't have to worry about measuring stuff up so much now. And then uh, we'll come just above there, probably out here, and continue over that way.
to get through then. No, no, I oh, know he's fine. Yeah. Just running. Yeah, it's, it's, we must have it on slight angle. Yeah, I don't think it matters. No, it doesn't matter too much. I'm just thinking as long as I can make it to the end. Yeah, as long as I can, that's right. Because, yeah, look, he's just coming down and gouged, that'll, that yeah. gouge will get a little bit deeper. Yeah, it's not that skanky bit, that's a matter. Yeah, you just have to be a bit careful now. It's almost one of the best things I think I've ever done milling. I mean, look at that, that's that's a perfect quarter. I mean, that will go on a bandsaw and easily, easily quarter sawn or whatever you like. Um, you can see where I dug a little furrow because we didn't get the rails quite straight. So that's down to us. And now we've got one final cut, which is obviously we need to work out how to do. Um, in order not to hit the ground really, but we, sh we should be able to judge it reasonably well. Um, and if, a qu if the log was off the ground, if it had been felled onto some, onto something, that would have been handy and then you'd have had no bother really. Anything you've got to watch though with this particular, and this, this one here, notice how you've got to be careful even on that angle. Obviously if you'd done it all flat, you'd have been fine. But even at that slight angle with the wedges, it almost slid off by itself. So we put some pins on that side. Um, so now, the, once you've got that first quarter out, once that first quarter was pushed out, the rails just go up against the log and screwed in with the, the black brackets. And now I'm just gonna put the, the rails are just dropped down flat onto the log and fix it at the end with the black bracket. No, there's no measuring to be done or anything like that. It's only the first quarter of the log that you have to do that with. Watch that big lump there, Paul, just didn't slide over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's clear. Oh, oh, that is absolutely perfect. That's just absolutely crazy. That's just absolutely spot on. I mean, look at that. That's actually, we, we've literally come down into the bark there. And because it's quite a flat log, you know, luckily there's no, and it's just, and it's just eased open and separated down there for us. It really is the money shot, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look at those quarters. I mean, even on that face, Paul, you're going to get some, you know, two foot quarter sawn. Yeah, no metal there. That. That's absolutely lovely stuff. That absolutely perfectly quartered it. So that's a four, four and a half foot log with a 30 inch low pro bar.